Hello everybody, I hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I am going to be going over a potential pattern for Bitcoin which could see great moves to the upside. So I hope that you enjoy this video and let's begin. So Bitcoin moving forwards before we get to the big pattern of the day, uh, obviously starting off from where we left yesterday in this parallel channel. Okay, early in the morning waking up, uh, we I actually woke up and the price was around uh, 4 4,030, 4,040. Um, so I was awake just to see this breakup. I am still in my long position from 3,995. So I have no reason at the moment to, um, yeah, l l let this go. I have literally just going to keep a trailing stop loss and, uh, yeah, let this either run or get stopped out now in profits. Uh, I'm ha very, very, very happy with my entry. Um, obviously, that entry was posted freely on, um, you know, on Twitter. So anybody could have followed along with that. And that was very simply this trend line. Uh, which a lot of people have incorrectly done this trend line, by the way. I've seen people saying we've not broken the trend line yet. X, you know, X, Y, Z, da, 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 about the trend line. We have broken above the trend line. Uh, obviously, this is the trend line that we're seeing way back from the 5th of May, extended down to the 25th of July, extended down to the, the 6th of November. We have broken that trend line. OK, so it's very important that you're aware we are above it. And that's what gave me a very nice entry, very clearly breaking above the trend line, holding it then as support. OK, and that was my entry here on BitMEX. And I entered again into another position today on the Binance Exchange. Uh, which is obviously just a spot long, no no leverage, etc. Uh, because on Bit Binance we had a different uh, trend line position, and that was broken today as well. So I'm in two longs <laughs> on two exchanges uh, for Bit Bitcoin at the moment. Obviously I am still in my short positions. I'm, I'm not getting carried away. Uh, what I would like to bring your eyes or attention to is the short to long ratios that we are seeing here. Obviously longs, um, you know, outweighing short. So there is a bit of greed creeping in. So that you know you want to be aware of this as a trader. You know where is the majority of you know probably retail traders placing their money and the average trader is long at the moment so it's you would want to be a little bit careful of this metric doesn't signify that a you know a reversal has to happen but it's something why you know why i'm keeping up my stop losses of a potential turnaround but um yeah as it stands at the moment this is healthy movements up okay there's no red flags on the consolidation at all um so i will just very safely have my stop losses moved up and if we continue to rise continue you know gaining profits from my longs um and i will close out some of the shorts if this pattern that i have identified plays out OK, obviously we are reaching, firstly, resistance horizontally. OK, so what was really nice today? Oh, come on. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. Trading view at times is a right pain. Um, anyway, going back to here, what I was going to say is today we obviously have broke above the resistance of 4067, which was our old high on this wick. OK, so today we actually broke above that wick and then came down and held it really nicely as support. So now we are consolidating over old resistance. OK, so just above the support, uh, very neutral in my opinion. There's no nothing bearish about this consolidation, but nothing really majorly bullish either. It's very much just neutral consolidation. And we're going to want to see a break and continuation with volume or, you know, drop down further and see the potential of another um oh I'm, I'm sure my mouse is broken right now uh, <laughs> oh please let me click oh uh, i'm gonna give this one more go if not yeah here we go so we could put, obviously see the potential of you know coming down in this flag um you know potentially that that would still be healthy consolidation as well where we obviously then have this old region of resistance potentially flipping into support so there's like you know signs to be um neutral here i wouldn't say wouldn't i'm going to be away the weekend so later tonight i do have my flight to barcelona so i am not probably going to be you know around uh the weekend so um I am going to be bringing my laptop, so I'm going to see. I might do a video, but we'll see how busy I am, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I just want to be, you know, be aware and bring your attention to these patterns because they could potentially play out this weekend. And if they do, then you are going to want to be ready. Um, yeah, I, I'm just going to have to ha have my trades in. And then if it plays out, great. Uh, and if it doesn't, then uh, obviously I'll, I'll just get stopped out of longs and, you know, still in shorts at the same time. So, uh, yeah, I will probably not be actively trading it, but I will definitely be keeping my eye on alerts on the charts for if this does play out. What is the pattern? It's an inverse head and shoulders. OK, so inverse head and shoulders here on the daily. OK, 
So resistances to be watching, obviously the neckline of around 4,100 here, 4,190 is the trend line that I have writ up here. Obviously 4,147 as well. Okay, so there's a bit of a discrepancy between the exact neckline that you can take. It's gonna be roughly from around, you could be looking from around 4,150 up to around 4,000, really 230, but really the neckline for me is this at 4,175 is the one you wanna be watching about around this region, 4,150, 4,250, that region you could potentially get a neckline. Uh, but yeah, obviously here we have the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder possibly forming now. Does this pattern have to play out right now? No, it doesn't, but it, you need to be aware that this is a obviously a bullish reversal pattern. So if this is to play out, what are we gonna want to see? We are gonna want to see increased volume. Okay, currently on the weekly time frame, we are obviously moving up Okay, price is moving up on declining volume. So this is, this in itself is bearish. So we do want to actually see if this pattern is to play out um, an increase in volume. Okay, so with a break of the neckline, okay, if it's to come, if it's to come, we want to see a break of the neckline with an increase in volume. So a big uptick in volume with a break of that neckline, that would be very nice. And we could then potentially be aiming up for around the 0 0.5 Fibonacci, which is about 5,000, okay? official target taken from the price range from the bottom of the head up to the neckline cloning this along to the breakout if it will let me do this here we go and as you can see the target is going to be about basically 5000 okay so in this area we do have a confluence of resistances obviously the 0 0.5 fib and the um you know the actual target from the head and shoulders okay uh inverse head and shoulders to be correct but you you know it's going to be a very big importance of the um of, of the right of the right shoulder breaking upwards with increased volume okay so i would just obviously go back to saying you do want to be careful buying a breakout you do want to see the increase in volume if we break with a decrease in, in volume or not a spike in volume that in itself is bearish okay so that's something to be aware of um but potentially a break here could see a potential you know rise to the upside okay I will be clever, you know, clever playing this while, while moving up a stop loss, and I am not suddenly just turning into a euphoric, euphoric bull here. I am very aware that this is a strong resistance to get through, and we could potentially just hover around here, or you know, who's to say that we just don't fall down right now? Uh, it does seem unlikely, but obviously in trading, things can change like this. And um, that's why sometimes the prediction videos like this are not a massive help because you need to be in the moment trading. Yes, I can help you with giving you ideas and how I would be trading it in the moment. But obviously, you know, from what I say now could have a totally different outlook in literally one hour's time when I go to upload the video. So you do have to be, you know, kind of confident in trading with your own setups. Um, because yeah, I'm, I'm saying as it right as it is right now, this is healthy consolidation, and I would not be worried in my long positions. But as we all know in trading, and especially cryptocurrency, uh, things can literally change like this. So um, please be careful if you are entering into longs on the resistances, because you have to remember this is an area of big resistance. We have not been able to make um, a substantial higher high now. In you know what are we in now? March almost, almost uh, coming on 12. You know coming on 16 months nearly. Uh, we haven't been unable able to make a higher high in the charts obviously this last higher high was a total fake out um so yeah just be aware that there is resistance uh definitely here but you know i just thought i would bring your attention to this potential higher um this inverse head and shoulders obviously removing everything from the chart for a second let's just remove everything from the chart looking at this we are still obviously making the higher lows okay but we have got a strong resistance you know horizontal line uh, obviously looking like a ascending triangle so there are bullish signs on this chart but we cannot forget we are in a bear market okay until price makes a higher high on the chart with a higher high higher low higher high then you you cannot really argue that we are out of a bear market so you do want to be careful to a certain extent um you know entering longs in here and you know risk management is very key um you know whatever happens here i believe i'm going to be making money <laughs> whatever the outcome i'm in a very good position with my entry um so yeah i'll be happy uh, but yeah, I would like to trade it. Uh, so I'm hoping that the break don't come this weekend because I would 100% sculpt the move. Uh, whether we get a rejection and come straight back down or whether we break through, I would add two positions and close out shorts. Um, but yeah, so let's see if it happens this weekend. Uh, if it does, then I'll probably be like, oh, I'm really sorry, but I need to go and trade right now. <laughs> um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll see where we are. 
Um, but yeah, I will try and get a video from Barcelona, but I have no idea whether I'm going to have the time because I expect I'm going to be extremely busy, uh, but I would like to do one. It would be cool. Um, yeah, but I hope you've all enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about bringing this mic with me because obviously it's such a small mic and the quality is really good. And I would, I would obviously otherwise have to use the inbuilt one in my in my laptop. So I'm thinking about bringing this with me just in case. And I would love to bring that green screen. It's like a foldable one, but uh, probably very unlikely. <laughs> that would be a bit weird if I start bringing the microphone and green screen with me. But um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I just really wanted to bring your attention to this. You know, obviously the pattern that we have potentially playing out here. Um, please don't think I'm getting carried away bullish. I am very aware of the bearish signs on the chart as well. Uh, I am very aware that the longs are currently outweighing shorts. Um, but yeah, this is a chart. As you all know, I made it very clear that I was uh, en entering a long as soon as we broke up from this resistance trend line. So, you know, you have the luxury if you followed with my calls. Uh, obviously, first was done for average students. Second was done on Twitter. Third on YouTube uh, mentioning this break. And then obviously what yesterday's video, we were talking about this parallel channel, which broke up again. So you have had uh, opportunities to enter into the longs or, you know, if right now on consolidation, riskier entry. Uh, let's see if we can get a break with volume again. Uh, for some continuation uh, so yeah that's what i'm going to end with xlm still in this position by the way this is going lovely uh, all stemming from the wave one uh, wave one support you know wave one resistance flipping into support this long i uh, i'm also in right now not worried about it just leaving it running with our trading stop loss uh, and I am in a few other roles, but I'm not going to cover them all right now because uh, I am going to have to actually get changed <laughs> and uh, yeah, get ready to go to the airport. So I hope that you've all enjoyed this video. Hope that you have an amazing weekend, whatever you get up to. Please enjoy it. And uh, yeah, be keep an eye on the charts. Uh, be aware of what's going on here. The, you know, obviously the possible three possible scenarios we're going to move sideways we're going to break up or we're going to go down <laughs> um so that's a very helpful bit of advice be aware of any scenario that could happen here because anything can literally happen um most likely scenario that we do come up and test some resistances in my opinion because as i'm speaking right now this is healthy consolidation so you would expect another move to the upside but obviously um yeah things can change quickly i will try and give an update if we break down um you know targets for if we break down over on twitter um but yeah it kind of depends obviously on you know where i am to whether i can update you uh, feel free to come along over onto my trading view where last night, 21 hours ago, I uploaded this uh, Elliott Wave count for EOS, uh, which is obviously a nice um, half bullish count that we are have the potential of having another 345 in the fifth here. So this sub waves 345 in wave five before that faces, you know, her heavy resistance and I'd expect an ABC retracement. Um, so yeah, this position was sat in profit. If you, if anybody had just been following my calls that I've done over the last like well, literally year, but uh, <laughs> over the last few weeks, then every call that I've made has been successful. So um, yeah, there's that to see as well. Uh, yeah, very happy, very 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 happy with how trades my trades are going. Honestly, um, and I hope that you are following and enjoying the content. So uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and I will catch you over the weekend. Hopefully, if not, uh, probably Monday Tuesday. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Be aware of the pattern. Uh, make sure you have a plan, whatever the whatever the scenario is that plays out. Um, and yeah, be 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 ready, be trading. Uh, and if you're not trading, then enjoy your weekend and have a good one with your friends and family. Thank you, everybody. Cheers.